but be mad at heart at anybody that's in that bag. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because right. there's a bunch of in you know, my Not even just famous, it's like R. Kelly, just in my neighborhood alone that yes. I grew up in, bro. Yeah. Yo, my every time all the middle school girls was getting picked up by old heads. Old oh, heads. Like all the we bad middle school. Every girl that was bad in middle school was getting picked up by some older bro. Straight up. Like in every hood. Like why <laughs> acting like they don't know like this? And that's just regular. It's not to mention these industry is worse, bro. Like these is like crazy. Oh, um, I gotta ask you about the hotel record um, with with Kells. Um, it, it seemed like he was coming off of getting arrested the first time for the first situation, and he had technically he hadn't went to court yet, but there was a DVD circulating and shit. Did that not affect like your mindset as far as what this record is gonna do at all? As far as what he was dealing with the year prior, going into the hotel uh, push. That was a year prior to hotel. That was a year prior. Uh, I, I wasn't. Jeez, I, I, yeah, I probably wasn't aware of it at that time. It probably came to my attention later, mm. and I wasn't like sure about it. Like at that time, nobody it wasn't was like, sure about it. It was weird, like you know what I mean. Yeah. So it was like, um, I was like a super fan. That niggas are like. The songs that nigga writ is like, man, I was a super fan of R. Kelly, and this is my first album, my first single. So to be working with somebody of that magnitude, your first go round, you got Swiss producing it, and you about yeah. to get R. Kelly on the song, and it's your first single. Yeah. Like, it's like. When you first hear the hook, how you feel it? Uh, for me to be like trying to argue that about some tape that I don't even know <laughs> what was like, <laughs> I don't know, like, I ain't even see that shit. I don't even know what's going on. It's like, I'm like, man. I'm not, uh, I wasn't doing no research and digging deep at that time because I ain't the law. You know That's what I'm saying? Real. That's real. And so I was just happy to get the song done. That nigga, a crazy songwriter, made a crazy impression on me when he heard the beat and all the beats that we played and how he was coming up with the melodies and them crazy hooks. So I'm just happy I got a chance to do that. But with his personal life and all that, I'm not a jury or a judge. I'm not here to like, do all that. And me is like my my wife a Libra, so I start learning how to be fair in life. And it's like, <laughs> yo, if you're gonna I don't got no problem with niggas being mad at R. Kelly. If that's how y'all feel and y'all feel like what he did actually makes you mad at heart, cool. But be mad at heart at anybody that's in that bag. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because right. there's a bunch of niggas. Yo, my bag. nigga, not even just famous niggas like R. Kelly, just in my neighborhood alone that That's I grew cool. up in, bro. Yeah. Yo, That's my cool. nigga, every time all the middle school girls was getting picked up by old heads. Old oh, heads. Like all the we bad even had middle school. Every girl that was bad in middle school was getting picked up by some older That's nigga, bro. Straight up. Like in every hood. Like why <laughs> niggas acting like they don't know niggas like this? And that's just regular niggas. Not to mention these industry niggas is worse, bro. Like these niggas is like crazy. So now I can't do records. With, you might as well, I can't do no records then. <laughs> like then I can't do, right? I can't do no records. Now you, the radio people that played it, you got a problem with them. You got a problem with the video nigga, the station that my video ever got played on. You got a problem with them. You got a problem with every fucking body then because all of these niggas is guilty of shit. Yeah. So I ain't like here to like point the finger at R. Kelly and these niggas like they ain't my job, man. I just like respect the nigga music. Yeah. What's up? What's up? But with that song having that much success. And, and you respect the fact that at that height of his career and yeah. where he was at, he decided to work with me. Yeah, straight up. You know what I mean? I know like Grady, Swiss, J Records, all of the staff and the team I had played a part in him wanting to do that. But regardless of what made it come together, I'm just happy that he made that decision. And came out to the video, like my first video, shot that he was in there. 
Yeah. Nigga had a mask on and all that, but he was there. <laughs> yeah, he was in that bitch. Yeah. Like, nigga got R. Kelly. Yo, my nigga legends. I'm talking about niggas that got 10 albums out. Can't probably get R. Kelly come to video. You just your first. I ain't so no record yet. This is my first single. R. Kelly there for me, my single. Yeah. It's like dope, man. So it's like. Those the those the uh, memorable moments I'm gonna take down. I don't know him personally though. We never hung out. We never went to the hotel together for real. So it's like <laughs> only time we was anywhere close to the hotel was where we shot the video at. Yeah, right. <laughs> like come on, man. But 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 when you have that much success on a song like that, right? And you being an act, you know, you can really rap rap. Did you feel like I gotta make another one of these, or did you be like, fuck it, I'm gonna just stick to my bag? Like, how do you? How, how was the follow-up for you? Um, I didn't think I had to make another hotel. I felt as though it was a good record and it was already out. So I needed to go in a different direction. But I think my label and the people that was backing me felt like you need another one of these. Like, why wouldn't he? As a business, yeah. the shit working is successful. We need another one of these. Facts. And it'd be difficult to make them understand that something else would make sense. So I just felt like um at that time and what I represented, like with battle rap lyrics and street shit, I just felt like um after hotel, I needed to do something a little more harder to represent that side of me too. Yeah. But we came with get no better, which was like a similar like, you know, direction and vibe. And my core audience kind of knew, like, yo, that's the nigga from the battle, or that's the nigga from the DVDs, or that's the nigga from volume two, or like certain yeah. niggas knew, or that's the nigga from the Who Kid, or the, or the this, or the DJ, no, like them little freestyles you saying. Yeah. But I'm talking about the world, the majority of people only knew you from hotel and get no better. Fact. So they thought that was you, like that's your whole you, and that's all you're gonna do. So it was like confusing, and I ain't want people to get confused. At, at the at the height of that, when you're in, when you're at the hotel success, did any like ladies try to like run up in your hotel or anything at the time? Um, yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> that's like, I mean, <laughs> you could, we've had some crazy times. We you could you could be like security, just somebody homie. and they run up in your room just because you're around niggas. Like you know what I mean? That's how I be like. It'd be energy around, but yeah, yeah. at that time, I was like super young. That's the bag I was in. So hotel wasn't like fake. It wasn't like no fake stuff. It was the real me, but I just ain't want to be represented all the way like that. I Not wanted facts. people to see the hustler side of me, the drinking two-step side of me, the yeah. innocent man, like the different sides of me. Like That's why I called my first album Split Personality, because I knew that I was going to be faced with that. Because I'm able to do a lot of different stuff. Some artists only capable of doing one thing, so they stay in one bag. You know what to expect from a type of sound, yeah. and that's what you get. Yeah, but fact. I knew that I could talk about and do so much stuff that I was going to be doing that throughout my career. And it's like a split personality. It don't even seem like the rapper that made Hotel could possibly make the song while I'm battling myself. Mm. Yeah. Shout out real ass street stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.